that I'm quite excited to talk about, the Kentucky Wildcats. Mark Stoops just continues to build this program. He has shown that he is able to, I mean, every year, develop talent that nobody else can find. It's it's unbelievable. They had six NFL draft picks last year. And this is what Dan um, Mullen did at Mississippi State. Yes. They're very, they're very similar in the fact that one's just an offensive guy and the other is a defensive guy. Yeah. They went five and six last year, won a bowl game uh, over NC State, who was actually, you know, what, eight and three in the ACC. And, and they showed up to the bowl game four and six and handled NC State. So, new offensive coordinator, Liam Kuhn, or uh, Kuhn, Cohn, I wrote it down wrong, Cohen, comes from the Rams. Uh, so, he's got a little Sean McVay. He got to touch the, the golden boy, I guess. Quarterback Will Levis comes in. Wide receiver uh, Wandell Robinson transferred in from Nebraska. The offense has had basically zero passing game for two years straight. Yep. It, even when they got Terry back last year, he still couldn't throw the football. And somehow, they were still able to stay in games. They were able to win some games that they weren't supposed to. Like it's, it, So, of course, you hate to see Eddie Grand get fired, but they had to do something to build up that passing game. Because you cannot win big in this league if you don't. The defense, uh, Mike White has had, uh, he's had great defense after great defense after great defense. He's got a challenge this year. Five of the NFL guys were were from that 2020 defense. and uh, But at the same time, they got Ole Miss's leading tackler coming in. Uh, Jones transferred in. They, they got other positions that are going to be young. But they, they got dudes. Like, they will be able to develop these guys. And they have been developing. I think Kentucky's going to be good. Like I, to go over, so their number is seven and a half. To go over is plus one twenty. To go under is minus one fifty. This is another one where I love the team. I'm just trying to get to eight wins, though, man. That's eight. A, eight is tough. I think this I team could be that. seven and five and be drastically improved. Yes. I'm going under. Yes, they could be amazing at seven and five. A really, really good football team at seven and five. Or yeah, you just can't get to eight. I can't, I can't get, get there. Eight. I mean, Florida, LSU, Georgia, uh, I mean, Missouri's on there. Louisville, I don't know what they're going to be. That Florida, LSU, Georgia, it, that's three games in a row, too, by the way. Yes. That's back to back to back to back. It, we don't know what South Carolina's going to be with Shane Beamer, but South Carolina has more talent than they do. Uh, I mean, you got to play at Mississippi State. Like, I, I just, I, it's going to be very difficult to get to eight. Yes. Very difficult. So, there is a, there is a, a hodgepodge of Kentucky, South Carolina, Tennessee, like in the East, but then yeah, in that, the that, same that are all a, a in the same spot is Arkansas, Mississippi State. Like I think they're all very similar right there. The difference is, is these teams in the East I think are significantly worse than the teams in the West that are in that same spot. Yeah, that's my opinion. I'd take State over all three of those teams. You might be right about that. You so. might be right. Let's you got they got to they got to win those two games. They got to beat Missouri. They got to beat South Carolina. They got to beat Tennessee. Yeah, they got to win those games if they want any chance at sniffing that. I agree. There's a world where they lose two or three of those games. Two of the three of those games. FPI's got them going seven and five. That sounds about fine. right. That's I mean, we're both going under the seven and a half. So. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.